Come on, you can do it. <laughs> You're gonna go down the cave here, down the stairs. At the top of the stairs are baskets with helmets in. White helmets for adults. Ready? I can see why we need to wear helmets. I will hit my head 100%. It's cold and scary down here. Oh, it's so low. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's disgusting. Let's go find a reindeer. All right, he's turned the lights out. This is where you definitely need to watch your head. Oh. Watch your head. Ow. 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 I think we are in Skyrim. I think that's a dragon. It's just regular brown colour, and then when you shine it on, it goes like a. This is it. What do you mean, scary? Ooh, you're hard. Also, really creepily, my torch is running out of battery. So in the dark nymphs we've got here. In the first cave we were in, that's where they found um, remains of a wolverine. But apparently the wolverine didn't live or die in here. It died up there on the ground and then the remains got washed down and were found in the cave. Ow! But apparently the people who discovered this mine were originally looking for lead. And then they dug out all this cavern stuff and then they found no lead but found the caverns, which is quite a cool thing. I'm having fun down here. I feel like a little kid again. What's this? Snow drift. Ooh. Someone's having fun. How are you um, doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Where does it go? That could be opened up and it could create a slightly mm -hmm. different route back. Yeah, that'd be cool. The fairy place is a secret part of the cave system which reveals ancient and rare crystal flowers found nowhere else in the caverns. Ooh. You are disgusting. I have no idea where we are in relation to anything. So yeah, this way takes us up to Reindeer Cavern and apparently they discovered the remains of several reindeer and baby reindeer here. And it was exposed when acid rain dissolved the, the rocks around the cavern and then they found the remains. Alright, where is it? It's not actually here. How does it look on us? Oh, bright yellow teeth. Yours are bright green. Not pleasant. <laughs> yours are bright yellowy green. Yeah. Alright, let's roll. It's the helm of Joff Workman. Gives you plus 25 carry weight. This one looks like a booby. A piece of learning equipment. We have the breast tissue, we have the areola, we have the nipple. And there's your anatomy lesson. <laughs> Alright, we've just finished our tour of the cabin. What are your thoughts? I really enjoyed it. The colours are so beautiful and if you come after three they turn all the lights off and you can use a UV torch to see all the sort of glowing rocks. So cool. They're looking to expand one of the tunnels and make it more safe. So if anyone's near Stump Cross Cavern come and show your support. Best part is if you pay five pounds you get free parking. I'm not sure that's the best part of this thing. <laughs> oh look at these. Oops. Such an idiot. Joe seems to think it'll take us about 40 minutes to walk up to the top of that hill. Half an hour, maybe 20 minutes, look at it. If it's half an hour, You're I cooking. cook dinner. Yeah, if it's more than half an hour, you cook dinner. One for the gram, am I in it? <laughs> It's not going to be 20 minutes if you keep stopping. So what time is it? There's so much wildlife here. There's like a hundred rabbits, we've seen pheasants. I love it. Just got to the top of a hill and as I'm setting up someone just pulls in right in front of me and stops Naz's lunch. Like right in front. Cool. Oh shiny. Found an earring with diamonds. No you haven't. Yeah I have. Anyone in the Peak District lost an earring? Get in touch. That's where I want to buy. What that forest? We're gonna need to find a few more of these if we want to buy that forest. You are joking, this is steep. It said 16%. Whoa. That's all right. Go for it. 
for it. Go for it. With no regard for road safety. You alright? Mm-hmm. You're not stressed? No. Wait. Yep, somehow we've got to try and get up here. Oh my god. So we're at Crowdy Coat Campsite. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly. Probably not. But it's quite nice here. It's just a little field. The guy was super friendly and helpful. And he said, tonight's the last night they're taking bookings. And I said, if we wanted to stay another night, how would that work? And he said, you can stay another night. That's no problem. Oh, that is a nice looking view. The main problem is we have no grip on our tires. Yeah, we and need proper, like, all-terrain tires. Also, why do we have a cracked... Don't know. Whatever that is. What part's that? <laughs> We're going to go and check out the local area and see how pretty it is around here. Let's go. I don't like it when people litter. There's a bin for a reason, people. I want to cuddle the cow. I think if I go over it, it'll let me stroke it. Ooh. Well, this guy's having another drink. I don't think I've ever seen a calf nursing in real life from the teeth. <laughs> Give us a sip. There are a lot of flies, though. Well, it's the cows. Yeah. <laughs> if you'd like to subscribe to our OnlyFans, Joe, I think they definitely thought we were doing something untoward. This is how the poorer gentleman fills up his water tank. This is going to go straight down my throat. Ready? I'm ready to do CPR, should I need to be? Oh, you did it! So it's 75 underneath, and this is 25. So if we do two of these... Oh, that's all right. I thought it would yeah. be like 100. Would be. All right, let's do one more. Pasta. Yep. I feel like a school lunch lady at the canteen. You look like dinner lady. Excuse me. Let's eat. It's quite nice in the sunshine. We only eat gourmet food when we travel. A uh, microwave curry courtesy of Sainsbury's. Thank you. That's freshly cut though, that's not dry. It looks way drier than the other. The other's got moss on it. It's gonna be a wonderful fire. <laughs> If we get a couple more of these nugs, I think we've got enough. I don't think so. Just a few more to go. You'll be done in no time. I feel a bit pathetic compared to that guy with the axe on TikTok. Come on, open. <laughs> what is she doing? Let's cut this one. This one's a good one. I don't think we're supposed to drag it all the way. I think we're supposed to cut it before. This is my hypothetical. You put this stuff in the middle and set fire to it, and you're adding like twigs and dry stuff, and it's growing and growing, and then you add the big logs as it catches, and then it gets bigger. I don't know if that's right. Chief Fire Officer. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've not built a fire since I was like 15, and I don't really remember how I did it. So. It works if I keep throwing alcohol on it, but I don't think that's the solution. Yeah, don't just throw it in. All right, you're finished. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun.
already cut campsite, 10 out of 10, very basic, beautiful. We've just pulled in on a little lay-by and it's an absolute beast of a spot. Check out this view. I wish one would come over and let me stroke it. Are you allowed to go up and just stroke them? If one was friendly. I would assume so. I mean, you might want to like wash your hands after, but. Let's see if they'll let us. No, don't scare them. Well, slowly. It's like the stereotypical British countryside, like the rolling hills, the sheep, the cows, everywhere. It's beautiful. Could you live here? No, it's too same for me. Everything's the same. Yeah. I think I need more variety. It's beautiful though. I like the quietness up here though. Yeah. We've come a long way since that first vlog we did where we were looking for a van and I remember we were filming us making a coffee and now we're having our coffee with a view. How good is that? Before we go, we need to do some van life chores. Van life chore number one, empty the grey water. Van life job number two, there better not be any number twos in here. What are you doing? I, don't, I can't figure it out. It's really heavy. It's full of all your wee. How's it looking? And van life job number three. We cheaped out on the level gauge, so instead we do it by ear. 85, 90. 95. All right, perfect. Joe's ear is not very accurate. Ooh, I think we're off. Let's go. Oh, look at that. I was thinking earlier, when it comes to spring, summertime next year, we're gonna be so happy we've got this. We've found a car park to a forest, which is somewhere in the Peak District, and we're gonna try and do our first stealth camp. I'm not really all that scared. If anyone breaks in, you're the one dealing with it. Car park's empty. Is it? Yeah, everyone's gone. Let me see how obvious it is. You can see in there. We think like a builder's van has come and he's had an accident. Nails, screws, it's like someone's done a little little on purpose one. All the puddles, they've just thrown them in. That's just this puddle. That's just one puddle. We found a, a whole Uncle Ben's rice sachet worth of nails and screws in these puddles. Anyone coming to Stainburn Forest? Check the puddles before you drive through them. So our first night stealth camping went really well. We had a few visitors. We had a police drive by at one in the morning who swooped around the car park, shone his light at us and disappeared. Next time we stealth camp, I don't think I'd go somewhere so dark. There's no street lights, there's no houses, there's nothing. So it's a little bit dangerous just being in the middle of the woods in pitch black. We had a few cars pull in and if they did want to do something bad, we couldn't really do much other than hit him with my wrench. That's his only weapon in the van is a wrench. That you know of. <laughs> <laughs> that you know of. <laughs> I think we've discovered we definitely prefer forest over farmland. I've always been super at home in a forest. I feel like a fairy in there. I love looking for bluebells and mushrooms and moss. It makes me happy to be in the forest. Do you prefer the forest? I would choose, oh, I'm just like this. <laughs> choose forest over farm. I'm doing that. Doing that face. Um. Work, work, work. <laughs> what? Work, work. What's that supposed to be? When I did, when we had that filter on me and I was doing it like a... By spending the night in the forest, I can tell that this is definitely more my style. The first thing I've learned from our trip to Wales is I prefer valleys to hills. And the second thing I found from the Peak District is I prefer forest to farmland. So you want to be in the middle of a forest, but not on a hill towards the bottom. So I want to be at the bottom of a hill by a lake, surrounded by forest, not farmland. It's not much to ask for, is it? That's what Canada is. <laughs> I love it here. You cannot go this way. Then we've got to go from this beautiful forest of all this freedom and nature back to London. Let's go. Hopefully picking up those screws was a good deed and now we're not going to get one through our tyre. Yep. So. Avoiding the puddles.
and that'll hopefully stop those van thieves from getting in. Smells like a farm. We have this natural sheep's wool that we're going to be sticking in all the crevices that we couldn't fit the insulation board. And then we're going to glue on our beautiful grey fabric. We haven't been fully utilising all the power that we could be. He keeps buying all these blue boxes, I just do not get it. 